Things got pretty rough in Lexington as, as well. Firefighters had to help evacuate about five homes. One Lexington driver also escaped a close call on the flooded Kentucky River this morning. He says it was too dark to see the water on Richmond Road and his car stalled. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky shows us how firefighters saved it from being swept away. Come across this morning, couldn't see the water, so it was too late. Too late for his car to carry him through about two feet of water, which had spilled over from the flooded Kentucky River around 6 o'clock this morning. He was lucky, though, because about two minutes after his car stalled on Old Richmond Road. A guy in a truck pulled up. I just climbed into his truck and we backed out. Like, it wasn't... For the truck, it wasn't bad. It's just my car is low. They left his low lying car in the flooded Kentucky River and drove to dry land. Then Lexington firefighters showed up and tried to prevent another emergency. We're concerned that the water level will continue to rise. And at that point, we didn't want the car to float away. Um, so we're just going to, like say, close down the road and keep anything else from coming down here and creating the same situation again. The Kentucky River here under the Clays Ferry Bridge usually does not begin until that tree line out there. But today the water is out of its bank by nearly 40 yards. It's too fast. Sometimes your car will actually lose traction and then get swept away. But well, there's all kinds of things. We saw a pontoon boat cut loose a little ago and just kind of kept on going. I mean, this is this creates a hazardous situation unknown for a lot of people. So yeah, anything can happen. Less than a mile down the river, Lexington firefighters asked residents to evacuate their homes, which were surrounded by four to five feet of water on Beach Road. They tried to rescue them using rescue boats. We're told everyone is accounted for, but not everyone decided to evacuate. A decision we're told they may regret as the river's expected to rise several more feet. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.